Well, if you missed our first lab for the chapter 12, yes, volume 3D, we're saying goodbye to Sketchpad. Hard to believe. We love that sketchy pad. Instead, we are going to turn our attention to a new program, one that's free. Oh, you got to love that. Okay, we got the pro version, but it's right here. It's Google SketchUp. So um, we're, now remember, this is a math assignment. I know you guys out there in sketchy pad land or SketchUp land will tell me there's easier ways. Of course there are. But we're doing this for a math assignment. So we open up this SketchUp Pro to, uh, 2015. This is what we have in the Anchor School District. We're going to go to template. And to make things easier, we're going to go to meters, simple meters, because we thought that would be more fun. I mean, you know, it's, well, it's awesome stuff. So let's, let's get crack a lacking as we say. Heavens to Mergentroids, look at that. We've got the X, Y, and Z axis, also known as the red, green, and blue. The ones that are solid are the positive direction, and the ones that are dashed are in the negative. We don't need to talk too much about that because you guys already looked at the software. Let's just get to drawing our cube. Now, uh, we got this fella standing here, and you know the kids said, he was like Stan Lee, and gosh, I can't believe they know who that is. But they said Stan. We'll call him Stan. So we're going to select a rectangle. We're going to make a cube, so we want to put down a floor that's a square. Notice we got the pen, and you get the little icon there saying you got a rectangle. Snap it to the origin. Snap. Not Snapchat. We're going to snap. Now, when I zoom out here, again, my students, this is your first time on SketchUp. Notice it can lock to a square. It can also lock to a golden section. We spent a lot of time on that in the past. But if we want to put in specific numbers, check this out. I'm just going to type in numbers. Don't snap that. Don't snap that pencil. Just type in on your keyboard. 10, comma, 10. Now it's cut off on my screen, but you can see it on. Oh, no, oh, hang on. 10, comma, 10. Do that again, and hit return. There it is. Boom, shaka laka, as we'd say. Now I guess I'm going to have to zoom in, or zoom out. I don't have a wheeled mouse, so I got to do it the old school way. I have to use this device. Hold it down and go to the left. See, because I'm on that crappy old trackpad. So I'm going to move this over here. Now what that represents is a square. Yes, a square in two dimensions. And if you know, we take this little thing, the little, the, the little gyro looking thing, yes, that's going to be our orbit command. And we can look at it more from the x, y. Again, think of red as x, green as y. It's the x, y plane. Now, of course, the guy's really small. I mean, what'd you expect? How tall could he be? I mean, he's, if he's lucky, he's, he's two meters, and then he's probably shooting hoop. He's not an engineer. So, we're, so that's 10 by 10. So now we're going to pull this into three dimensions. We love this 3D stuff. So we're going to grab the push me, pull me tool like this. You know, actually, hang on. Before I do that, I, I better scoot him down a little more. I, I don't want him going off the screen and zoom out just a wee bit. Yeah, let's, I want to see this whole cube. I'm going to pull the, grab the push me, pull me. I can extrude, pull it up, push it down. We're going to go in the positive direction. And again, I'm going to type in the number 10. Because we want a cube. And a cube means it's got, well, it's got length, width, and height that are all the same. I just chose 10 because it's a nice number. And we're, well, we're going to color this. We're going to say, throw in some colors in there. Why not? And we're counting the faces. We've got three so far. And let's spin it around. And we can see a face is a surface. And we see all these surfaces are squares. So let's go ahead and, oh yeah, paint those bad boys. Paint, paint, paint your wagon. You're loving this. So there we go. All painted up. But everybody says, where's Stan? They miss Stan. So well, we're going to find Stan. We're going to go to view. And we're just going down to face style, x-ray. Oh, there he is. Stan's okay. He's just down there. He's, you know, he's got a lot of room in there. That's one big living room. Good job, Stan. So let's scoot this over to the side and let's look at the math. You grab a piece of paper on your way in. Oh, well, well, you know, let's hang on. Let's do this first. For you CAD students in the engineering house, tools, dimensions. Oh, yeah. Snap. Snap. And I pulled it out. What'd you expect? 10 meters. In this direction. 10 meters. And again, let's dimension this object. Yeah, I kind of want it coming out like that. That was mo better. Now that's 10 meters. This cube is a 10 by 10 by 10 meter cube. Well, that's going to make the arithmetic easy. And this is the arithmetic we're going to use. Remember, we're just getting introduced to this. So it's, um, let's just have a look over here. 
Um, well, it's a cube. The first thing we need to know is that this thing is called a platonic solid. There's four more, but we're going, we're first making this one. We're, we're going to make another, well, we'll do them in separate installments, but there you go. There's a cube. And we got this funky Euler formula. Now we haven't seen good old Lenny since uh, that section on concurrency of triangles. Gosh, that was last semester. So let's see what we've got going on here. Go ahead, spin your figure around and you can count. Well, we already counted surfaces. And we said, we said there were how many? Well, there were six, just like a die. Now V is the vertices. One, two, three, four on the bottom. Four on the floor, as we said in the old days, and four on the top. Hey, that makes, well, <laughs> H, Woo, that was a close one. Now edges, I got four on the bottom, four up top, and four vertical. That's gonna be a grand total of 12. Now, let's check it out. Does it work? Of course it works. 6 plus 8 equals 12 plus 2. Why? Because Lenny told us. That's the law. And he proved it. So, he's awesome. And we should all be celebrating him with a spirit day. So now, um, let's just, a couple things. Getting ahead of ourselves for the future chapters. See, each, each face is a square. 10 by 10 is 100 square meters. See, and, and you could do it that way, or you could do it with the exponent. I like to write it out, because a lot of you end up putting the squaring the number. That's very bad. And then we're going to say, okay, well, the surface area from the cube, some of the books say SA, some may say A. I don't care what you use. SA, I like that better. Surface area of the cube, well, you got six of them, and they're all 100. 600 meters. Not too hard, is it? And one more. We're going to approach volumes later on. And the cube is just so easy, because you know this from the past. Length times width times height. 10 times 10 times 10. That is one thousand cubic meters. Keep in mind that you have different units. Do not go adding these to get, uh, together. If you've got giraffes and you've got elephants, you're going to get elephants. They can't be combined. They're two different animals. So square meters, how much paint is it going to use? Volume, how much will it hold? And <laughs> from the looks of Stan, it's going to hold a lot. So we're going to now, all right, good. That only chewed up about seven minutes. Now we're going to do something mo fun. We are going to take this and we're going to whap, we're going to cut through this cube. Now this part might get messy. I'm trying to manage two different screens here, but um, so let's go back to SketchUp. So let's take our drawing and I'm going to move it over here a little bit. You can go away, color, and I want to expose this corner. I'm going to cut this corner off. Now I'm doing that for demonstration purposes because it's kind of cool. I mean it's. You know, I know in, in real engineers, you'd use a cutting plane, but my God, I have a hard time getting a cutting plane that's not orthogonal. So here we go. Let's, um, Lee, what are we doing now? Oh, I, I almost forgot. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're going to cut this. Let's take the pen. Take the pen like this. Now, lock it here on a midpoint. Snap. Yeah, you know, and sometimes it says on edge. I think it's on the midpoint. We'll test it in a little bit. This is really cool software. And watch what happens when we connect the last one. The shades change. This is really fun. Now, if we turn it on edge, see, that looks like a knife passed through there. Sha! That's what you can see. The knife is cutting it out off. So I would call that a cutting plane. Very manual here. Why? Because we want to do things manual. We want to understand them. So, oh, and we're almost done with this, with our cube, but we're going to doctor up this cube. We're going to pick it apart. We're going to take the pointer tool. Now, just unlike Sketchpad or our sketchy pad, I'm going to select this segment. See, it's been snipped in half. I'm going to delete it and look what happens. The rest of the drawing remains. Delete. Click delete. And what we have now is a cube with a corner saw off it. Now, I'm calling this a truncated cube. I don't care what you call it. You can call it with a cube with a corner cut off. But it shows us one thing. I don't want to get the area in volume. we got uh, plenty of that to do in subsequent chapters. But let me do this. Now I want magenta, our favorite color. So now you can see we've made another surface. And all we wanted to do here, where's Sketchy Pad? Where did he go? Sketchy Pad. Oh, there. Whew. And let's go over here. Let's check this out for the truncated cube. We had six faces before. We made a new one. We generated a new face. So I'm going to say that the face is now seven. How about vertices? One, two, three. Ha, ha, ha. Love that count. We got three new ones here, but we gave up one. We cut one off. So we gained two. So that's going to be 
can you count? Or just plain count them. Four up there, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's as easy as eight, nine, ten. And let's see where this is going. And I'm going to check this again. I got all the edges. And look, I've added one, two. I have all the original edges. And I added three more. So I can just count them. Four on the floor. You know, uh-oh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's a pentagon. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Heavens to Mergentroids. We got us 15. 15. So this is a new solid. Now, this is no longer a platonic solid. I never said it was. But look at that. Wouldn't Lenny be happy? Uh, 7 plus 10? 15 plus 2. It works. Of course it works. Look what you did. You gained one face. You gained two vertices, both on the left side of the equation. And you gained three edges. Hey, this is pretty cool. Now, um, well, I'll let you guys give this a shot. Uh, tell your teacher you want, you know, well, wait, what am I saying? Just go at home and do it. You got this for free. This is free Google SketchUp. You all should be doing that and sending it to your teachers. I'm going to tell them right now. Get on it.